Hello students, uh, in this video uh, I am going to solve the lens problem or lens formula problem from uh, chapter 10 from the exercise. Uh, I will do question number 10. So I hope you are ready uh, with your pen and uh, notebook and if you have any problem in any step, uh, please let me know and I will be there to help you. So, I hope uh, you are ready and if you are not ready, as I always tell you, pause this video, get your notebook get your pen and then follow me so let's go so this is another uh, lens formula problem uh, from chapter 10 and the question number is 10 from your exercise uh, <clears throat> so let's start mm. uh, first read the question very properly so that you can understand and then uh, we'll start doing the problem so <clears throat> let's read the question if you have a book uh, please follow me with your book so an object 5 cm in length is held 25 cm away from a converging lens of focal length 10 cm draw the ray diagram and find the position size and nature of the image form so this is our question so <clears throat> first and foremost I always tell you that whenever you are doing some mirror formula or lens formula you have to first do you will have to know what kind of lens or what kind of mirror is that so here given it is a converging lens so converging lens means it is a convex lens so for <coughs> our convenience let's just draw one convex lens here of course we have to draw properly later on uh, we have to draw one diagram but for our convenience now let's just draw a rough sketch of one convex lens so this is our optical center and this side will get one center of curvature here I'll take it as focus and here also I'll take another focus and here center of curvature F2 and C2 so this is my diagram so let's see what is given now what is given in the equation and accordingly we will solve the problem so first it says an object 5 cm in length that means you are placing some object here and the length of the object or the height of the object length of the object is 5 cm so first let's write given 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 height or you can write it length length of the object the object length of the object so we'll give it as h h is how much 5 cm now here we'll have to use the sign convention so since we are giving it uh, we are placing it above the principal focus or oh, sorry uh, principal axis we are placing it above the principal axis so whatever distance suppose we want to place it somewhere here so the distance above the principal axis or in the positive y direction will always be positive so it will be a positive value so i'll not give here anything it will be already a positive then it is given is held 25 centimeter away so it is held at 25 centimeter in front of a converging lens so the object is placed that means from the lens the object is placed at 25 centimeter that means the distance of the object from the lens is 25 centimeter so the object distance object distance is object distance that we give as u is 25 centimeter now <clears throat> we'll have to see according to the sign convention that means whether this value will be a positive or a negative since the <clears throat> object whenever we place some object we'll have to place it in the left hand side of the uh, lens we'll consider it as in the left hand side and it will come in the negative x direction or in the left side of the and so according to the sign convention anything on the negative x axis or on the negative side of the or in the left side of the lens it will give you a negative value so it will be a minus so it will be minus 25 centimeter then it is given again away from a converging lens of focal length 10 centimeter again focal length is given to us so focal length focal length is focal length is given f is 10 centimeter here you should remember or uh, there is a uh, easy way to remember the focal length the sign convention of focal length uh, <clears throat> for a convex mirror the focal length is always 
positive value and for a concave lens it is a negative value so for here it will be a positive value so i'll keep it as positive now we will first we will not draw the ray diagram first we will find the position size and nature of the image so first uh, let's find the position that means where will be the image so image distance will be what image distance image distance image distance v we don't know so we'll just give it as a question mark so then <clears throat> let us use the lens formula using using lens formula using lens formula 1 by v minus 1 by u equals 1 by f so if you see the lens formula there is a minus here but in the mirror you will get it is a plus so remember this is a lens formula so i hope uh, you have <clears throat> your book if you don't remember you can just go through it once again so 1 by v minus so what is u let's place the value of u that is minus 25 minus 25 equals that side 1 by f is 1 by 10 so let's do step by step 1 by v that is minus and minus minus if you multiply by minus it will be a plus 1 by 25 equals 1 by 10 so i'll take this 1 by 25 to the right hand side so i'll keep 1 by v this side then 1 by 10 minus 1 by 25 <clears throat> then we'll solve it 1 by v now we have to take the lcm between 10 and 25 so those who have problem with the lcm i'll just simply show it here easy way 10 and 25 5 2 times is 10 5 5 is 25 so it will be uh, uh, lcm will be how much so 5 into 2 into 2 that is 5 2 is 10 uh, sorry it is 5 5 into 2 is 10 10 into 5 is 50 so our lcm is 50 our lcm is 50 now we have to see with the denominator 10 how much time is 10 how many times is 50 so 10 5 times is 50 then even here also minus 25 how many times is 50 25 if you do double or 25 2 times is 50 so what you'll get here 1 by v equals 5 minus 2 will be 3 3 by 50 3 by 50 now here you'll have to remember one thing that we don't want we we don't one one by v we want only simply v so we have to do it reciprocal reciprocal means you have to send the denominator up and the numerator will come down that means it will be v by one i will not write the one since it is uh, no use writing one below in the denominator then this side also will just flip it once that means we will make it reciprocal that is 50 by 3 now if you divide i'll divide 50 by 3 3 1 times 3 then you'll get here 20 3 6 is 18 and 2 so it will continue 16.666 since 20 you'll get 18 and it will continue so you'll get around 16.6 centimeter that is the image distance so now since it is a positive value you'll see here that the image distance is a positive value since it is a positive value you'll know that the image will lie in the right side so the image will uh, lie in the uh, positive x direction so if it is in the positive x direction so you'll get the real image in case of a lens you'll get the real image so now you know that the image is real and it is at 16.6 centimeter now let's see what will be the size of the image in order to get the size of the image we'll again use the formula for magnification so now now let's do for size that is magnification m equals h this by h h this by h equals v by u that is a method now you see here so <clears throat> h this that is the length of the image we don't know the length of the image but we do know the length of the object that is h is 5 now here it is very important see v v here 16.66 it is not an exact value because it will continue to go as 16.66 so if we take this value we will not get the exact value so we will take the 50 by 3 value here so that we will get the correct answer so we will use 50 by 3 here 50 by 3 in place of v and u the u it is given already minus 
25 centimeter minus 25 centimeter so now next thing what we can do is we can bring the 3 to the numerator so is this by 5 i'll keep it as it is minus i'll bring it as a whole so 50 and 3 into 25 now 25 uh, we can divide 50 by 25 so i'll divide it 50 uh, 25 one time is 25 25 two times is 50 now i'll take this division part here to the right hand side so each this will be equal to minus 2 into 5 by 3 so what i'll get so is this is minus 2 into 5 is 10 then 10 by 3 so 10 by 3 then is this you'll get if you divide 10 by 3 10 by 3 3 3 times is 9 1 then you'll get same 3 3 3 so it will be 3.3 centimeter so you might have thought what is this minus minus means that the image will come below the principal axis so <clears throat> now we have to draw the ray diagram now we have to draw the ray diagram so <clears throat> i'll draw a rough ray diagram if you have a scale and a, a pencil you can draw it very properly but here i'll draw just a rough diagram so first i'll draw the lens oh this is my lens this is my principal axis here is my optical center o and i'll take here center of curvature and focus here f1 and here i'll take another focus f2 then center of curvature c2 so my drawing might not be very exact because i'm not using any kind of scale or uh, <coughs> uh, I'm, i'll just draw it at once so first uh, let's see what is the focal length so our focal length is our focal length is 10 centimeter that means this mass is 10 centimeter and if you come till here that means you are coming another 10 centimeter that means this mass is 20 centimeter till c1 it is 20 centimeter but our object is placed at 25 centimeter if you see the object distance if you see the object distance you will see that it is placed at 25 centimeter so we'll have to bring beyond 20 centimeter that means it will come somewhere here here so i'll write it as a and b then our uh, image image you, see, you have got that it will be at 16.6 .6 centimeters so same thing this side also it is five uh, till here it is 10 centimeter and till here it is 20 centimeter from the lens because focal length is 10 centimeter and till here it is 20 centimeter so our image should come somewhere in between this in the middle it will be 15 so beyond the middle somewhere here our image should come so let's try so if i send one parallel ray suppose if i send one par ray parallel to the principal axis i am sending one ray parallel to the principal axis so you know what happens so it will come through the focus it will go through the principal focus or it will be reflected to the principal focus so, the next I'll send another ray, I'll send another ray that will be through the optical center. So any ray going through the optical center, passing through the optical center, it will pass straight. So it will come like this and it will <coughs> uh, straight. So somewhere here. So our image will be a this and b this. So you see here that it is coming here in minus because it is in the negative y axis so this is the ray diagram of course this ray diagram uh, it is not exactly uh, in scale but if you get a ruler you can draw it very properly so at the end uh, you can write uh, that the image is formed at 16.6 .6 centimeter it is real and minus uh, it will be 3.3 .3 centimeter in length so if you want to finish up you can write the image image is formed there 16.6 .6 centimeter it is real and 3.3 .3 centimeter in length so this is how you do a lens problem that is question number 10 so if you have any doubt, please let me know.